It is another big night for UConn. The women trying to secure their place in the final four and back in stores, police trying to make sure the students stay safe. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer and I'm Ann Nyberg. There was some trouble on campus over the weekend when the men's team won. And this video shows some students even climbing up a News 8 live truck. Now police are trying to make sure that doesn't happen again. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Hartford with the latest. Bob. Yeah, UConn men's team, they've had a lot of success along with the women. The men, three national championships, a lot of success, and the students have had a lot of practice and success at celebrating. It was a little messy during the day. Everyone's running outside, everyone's going to the middle of campus celebrating. I was in Busby when, I, when everyone won, and the floor was pounding, everyone was going crazy. Celebrating the big UConn win, students rushed the campus at Gamble Pavilion, dancing in the streets. One man is arrested, David Bremke, after he allegedly lit a magazine on fire. While no one was hurt and it wasn't a riot, it was only a win into the Final Four. Next week I'm definitely locking my door, though, if we win. <laughs> Why is that? It's, it's, this was the lead eight Final Four, everything will be much crazier. Back in 2004, when the UConn men won the national championship, students took to the streets rolling cars, setting them on fire. This week, police and administrators are planning and preparing to ramp up security to avoid a scene like this. In past years, they've had a relief valve in place and a viewing at Gamble and an after-game party where students can celebrate safely. I'm hoping we win, but I'm hoping it's not as hectic. So UConn Husky fans, whether you're a women's fan or a men's fan, all eyes tonight are center court as the women try to make it into the Elite Eight. And as the game winds down, while the game isn't here actually on campus, the police will be keeping eyes on the campus to make sure no one gets out of control like last night. And while they don't anticipate any problems tonight, the focus is now on next weekend. UConn police say they will team up with the state police and have a powerful force in place. For strategical reasons, they say they won't discuss numbers, but students say the more police means a safer victory. I mean, it'll be a big deal, but I don't think people will get too out of hand. And tonight, so far, quiet on campus. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.